No. <laughs> it's not working still. Hi everybody. I just ended it because I could see that it was still freezing and then and as I was looking over to the other side it was still freezing. So until I can have my issues sorted, which I don't think is going to work until I have a better computer. Um, so um, you're going to have to have me live like this. But what I will do um, is put that video together and post it on my feed um, in a pre-recorded way. And it's not going to freeze then. It will just come on in a very smooth way. Some of you probably might still be trying to watch the other feed while it's going sort of live. And... Um, I do apologise um, that this keeps happening. It's awfully frustrating um, me <laughs> at the very least. But um, um, I thought having a week off to try and sort it out would sort it and it hasn't sorted it. So um, I am going to stay here for a little bit because I know that there was about six or seven people that was on the other feed and might join me here. But what I was going to be talking about basically was um, my version of Source Energy, which... Um, I'm going to sort of go through now, but like I said, I will do proper video um, and record it and put it on, which is pre-recorded so that people kind of probably get the message probably a bit clearer than, than now, but we'll carry on anyway. So to me, Source Energy, Consciousness, the Universe, what does it kind of all mean? It means a lot of things, really. Um, for me... I always say to people, imagine source energy like a big ball. Hi, you found me. Sorry, I cancelled the other one. It wasn't working. I could see all your comments and um, you'll, you'll see what I mean. But anyway, um, I source energy, imagine like basically a ball, like an, a ball of energy. Um, and some people, if you're scientific in any way, if you think of energy, if you think of atoms, if you think of, um, oh my gosh, it's like the Big Bang Theory. The Big Bang Theory is that the universe just sort of imploded um, and exploded and that it's still expanding, basically. And I kind of want you to think of source, universe, consciousness as the same thing, like a, like, like a, like the start of it was like that and it's constantly expanding, constantly growing basically and that basically basically hi <laughs> we're all part hi Hassan we're all part of source energy basically and really what um my one of my analogies and I have many so one of my analogies just to kick start you off hi is to kind of um talk about source firstly let's think of candy floss if you have a stick and you're making candy floss and you kind of whisk it around the, the floss kind of gets bigger doesn't it and if you add some different colors in hi Claire if you add different colors into that kind of candy floss it keeps kind of um, growing doesn't it but it's kind of different and then if you make the floss a bit more denser or if you make it a bit more weaker it kind of might have distort the shape but it still gets bigger and bigger it ever expands so that's one but my favorite one which is why my live feed was called we are Borg for those of you who are, who are Star Trek fans, which of course I am, sadly, um, not that it's on the telly much anymore, but there is a species basically in, um, you know, as part of the characters in the Star Trek series, which is called the Borg. Now, for those people who know anything about the Borg, and if you don't, I'm going to tell you, basically there is species that basically, um, they have a hive collective, they all um, share you know they act individually but they also share everything um together they're, they're all consciousness so when one thinks they all think or when something happens or when they go out scouting like drones um they go and assimilate things when they assimilate things it improves them and improves all of them not just one of them and i know it's a really crude example but pretty much you've got to think of source or consciousness or our our energy as quite like that but not in a very horrible way but in a way that actually when one of us learns we all learn the source expands and it continues to expand and also collectively we can all learn and we all expand so for example you know some of us chose to be here 
to collectively expand at this time because we are transitioning from a masculine energy to a feminine energy universally and what comes with that is some significant life events and some changes and so collectively like when we vote for things or when we um, protest against things we are collectively trying to um, have an experience we've all agreed to but to also be part of a shift in a different direct direction in towards um, where source wants us to flow and source always wants us to flow towards joy and abundance and that's why knowing about source helps you with any sort of manifesting techniques or abilities that you are wanting to sort of grasp basically so I hope you're with me um, at this stage um, you know you know knowing about source doesn't mean you have to be affiliated to any kind of religion or anything because part of source or part of hi Amy part of the teachings um, that you know people who believe in this and new age stuff about what source is is that basically we are source and so you know it might sound controversial but this is how my guide show it to me so we are gods we are creators no there is no one leader just like the Borg there is no one leader of the Borg there is no one leader of source because we are all part of it so be we are creators we are God and because of that that's where you're finding a lot of new people are sort of exploring the sort of um, uh, the abilities and techniques and understanding about how to create abundance and joy in your life because it's about learning to expand that to, to use the source energy to help source expand you are part of source and source wants to flow everything towards abundance because he wants to grow he wants to assimilate he wants to learn now sometimes, and for those of you who have seen my sort of um, contract um, um, video um, on life experiences, sometimes we contractually will choose certain experiences, good and bad. Those are to help again with expansion. And sometimes we can't have the dark without the light. You can't move and progress something along if you don't have the contrast. How do you really learn if you don't have the contrast in things in life? And I know it feels unfair, but for those of us who have elected to have certain bad experiences, one, we can opt to change that once we are aware of source and once we're aware of abundance, we can change that contract, we can change our experiences, we can set our new intentions that align us to flow towards abundance. But also, even with those bad experiences, we are contributing. If you think about anything that's happened bad in your life, what is the good that's come out of it? How has it shaped to you as a person to then influence or help other people? There's always something, even if you can't see it now, there always is. It's a contrast. <laughs> And, the, and so I hope you're with me. So that's one sort of analogy when it comes to source energy in a way that hopefully you can sort of grasp it. Hi, Caroline. Um, and then there is um, the World Wide Web. That is the perfect, actual, literal example happening in our lifetime as a prime example of source energy. What do I mean by that? Well, if you think about it, the World Wide Web connects us to everybody and everything. Everybody who accesses it is all connected. And if you think about how it was 20 years ago, it was big, but it's bigger now. And if you think about in 10, 50 years time, it's never gonna stop expanding. It's the same thing. It's basically a literal example of what source energy is. As, as beings, as in our human experience, we chose to have connections, to have relationships. It's how we function, it's how we expand, it's how we grow and how we learn. And so that's what the internet does. It keeps us and connects us together. We learn, we share, we expand, we keep expanding. And for some of us, if we want to find something out, we just Google it and we find it straight away. And I kind of want you to think like that when it comes to creating abundance. Sometimes you can just Google it up and you know where to look and you find it straight away and you get there and you flow down that river really easily. Where for some, <laughs> you might have to click a few links, get a bit frustrated because you still can't find what you're looking for. But eventually, if you look hard enough, it comes to you in the same thing. Sometimes some things flow to us easily and sometimes we have to go the long way around. There's a reason for it, you know, <laughs> and that's how it goes. Does that make sense? So those are my crude examples really of trying to explain what source energy is, what consciousness is. And I think it's really empowering because depending on how you look at it, you know, um, another way also to look at it is, is also that some of us, have been in source longer than others. So if you, if you imagine the earth and the earth's core, and then you imagine all the different layers that go up until you get to you know, the outside, water and earth, there's different le le levels, there's different layers. But 
and if you think about the sun there's a core source <laughs> those of us or those people or ascending masters for example like jesus or archangel Ma michael or buddha they've been here longer you know and they can choose to have any human experience or and don't necessarily choose they choose to guide us they have been here longer and you need to think of the core as being the oldest and being the most densest but as it expands there are newer newer levels and newer newer li lives until we get right to the end where it's kind of wispy but still expanding those are what we call new life new thought so some people have been here a long time and are at level three or level four and some of us are brand brand new contributing and they have been new thought created by all of us again so that we could as collectively as source create more you know more <laughs> more experiences more expansion and so, and so it all contributes and if you think about it again like old people and young people if you don't have the new then how do you really learn and expand because you get stuck in your own level didn't you when you're when you're older you get you kind of don't change your ways until something young and fresh comes and changes it up a bit and it's the same thing basically so i hope you're getting I hope you're getting me. Hi, Kaz. Uh, I'm getting to you. <laughs> Don't worry. Um, so I, that is a very super quick, what would have been in my feed, which probably would have been said much more eloquently and a bit more longer. And I will put the video together in the right way. I think for now, it looks like I'm going to be doing my live feeds on my phone. But like I said, apparently iPhones work better than laptops. <laughs> so this is how it's going to be. But this is how it's going to be. So before I just go on to talk about um, answering some questions that some people had for me, for my guides pre that I had pre-sent to me, um, was there any questions that I haven't covered or you didn't understand in terms of what I talked about, source energy, or there's something I've missed out, then do comment. Um, but in the meantime, um, <laughs> now I know, unfortunately, um, whoever has my laptop is probably enjoying it or karmically won't be enjoying it that's my hope anyway so you know I, I thought I got a good one but um, I, I you know I'm not techie <laughs> I'm learning but I'm not techie and apparently I needed certain things to happen with this one that wasn't in it and I thought it was so um, right just to go through some questions oh thank you Claire so some questions that I had from some people. I had a question from Nicola, who said, my male friend David, who she's known for years, will we, will we be a couple? Um, and that her friend has told her that he wants to be with her. Well, my guides, my guides said to me, and they're just saying to me again, that, um, David needs to remove some outside obstacles in order to kind of be with you and to move things forward. Um, and David is taking his time, but also he's not necessarily getting a sense of urgency with getting the coupleship going, but particularly about outside obstacles being mainly the reason why. Um, but will you? if you have the patience, but I am being shown, um, Nicola, it is been shown in 2017. It is been shown though after, I would say after, after the summer, but he's not your only option. It's that you've got some choice coming up basically is what I want to say to you. Um, so, I hope that's answered your question in really short, short terms. But and my guy's pretty much the same. Basically, until he removes some obstacles around him, and there's a little bit of you know sometimes when you're in a connection and you know you want it, but it's been the same for a long time. You don't sometimes have any urgency to want to change that, even though you want it. Until he sorts that part out, and until there's some urgency, which is probably why my guides are showing there's another choice, my dear. That um not 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 you still got some months basically and i feel like you've had a lot of patience already but i feel you also sense the what what will go right with this um right i had a question from wayne wayne actually somebody that i speak to quite a lot and always um 
makes me smile because he's pretty much the only one who answers me about the stock market, which I have no idea about. <laughs> but um, just to let you know, because you answer me, um, no, not not Nintendo. Yes, yes, still to Netflix. And OPDT, I hope I said that right, um, will stay stable for now. And you might want to pull it, but don't. I hope that's helped. <laughs> Um, Kaz, 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 Daniel, um, will Daniel and I form a committed relationship? Yeah, um, Daniel has been shown to me, because my guys keep using the word stability, needing to have stability in his heart and his mind, like, it feels to me that he's got um, things that are not personal to you there's other things going on for him as to why yet it hasn't formed to be a committed relationship it feels to me he's been shown like a child and he's, I know he's not a child but in comparison to you you are much more emotionally intelligent and he's got his own kind of um, growing and learning to kind of do to meet you in the middle um, they're saying he can do it and again very similar to the last lady it's it's not something that comes quickly because um he needs to understand what stability stability is in order to offer you stability and there's something again i, I don't want to go into too much detail for the live feed but i would say here to be optimistic but do know that as long as it's been, you still have some while to go to see that stability come to you in the way that you would want it to come to you, but it will. So I hope that's kind of answered the question in a super cryptic way because I'm mindful that um, I don't want to be sharing too much of something that might, um, you don't want shared, <laughs> basically. Um, Claire, will I ever meet the guy that's emotionally available? Ah. Uh, yeah, dating sites um, <laughs> have changed, they've changed, um, unfortunately. Um, yes, of course you will, Claire. Um, I mean, you have um, uh, a twin to um, sort out first, but um, in the meantime, I, people sometimes are drawn to us, even if they are imbalanced or have some sort of emotional challenges, because we are stronger, we have more light, and we can heal. I don't mean in a hippie way, but in our words or because of our patience. Um, and in a way, you're too nice. That's <laughs> what I'm trying to say to you. You're too nice. But um, that's okay. Um, set my. This is why we talk about source. If you set your intentions and necessarily change the dialogue in your own head in terms of I always meet certain people, they're always harder. It's always more difficult to... Um, find somebody who's balanced when you give yourself those kind of repetitive messages what we think about the most or what we believe the most pretty much persists basically and this is where it goes back to the whole manifesting stuff why it's not working some sort of some people the human aspect in us which we've had for far longer which is that inner critic that always tells us don't believe in any of that kind of stuff it will never work for you it's always going to be a struggle because it's always a struggle for everybody when you have that ongoing dialogue all the time my dear or anybody has that it's really hard to switch it off even if you're setting intentions that to kind of reprogram your brain to think in a much more positive way to manifest to progress forward is far more difficult when you spent your whole life with the critical messages even if you are 80% optimistic there's always that 20% it's learning how to go with the flow so a really good practitioner, Abraham Hicks, who some of you may know about, she she teaches and she says, you know, life is like, um, like it's like going downstream. You need to just go with the flow. And, but most of us spend most of our life going up current and fighting against the current. And that's hard. When we just kind of relax and go with the flow, things flow to us a lot more quicker. It could be going very easy. And that's what manifesting and learning how to manifest abundance is. 
and once you've once you've mastered it you get you know get things really quickly but when you resist or what you worry about and what you think about and what you put your emotions in what you resist persists basically you're you're fighting against the current so sometimes you just have to let go and when you let go that's when Mr. Right turns up or if Mr. Right's already in your life they they get better <laughs> I think it's a word to use somehow they do they do and it's just about how you think about things so uh I'm glad has I think um relationships are challenging um but patience <laughs> which I, I think I say a lot to people um who speak to me hi Claire you will find someone who doesn't drain you exactly that's the right attitude to have <laughs> that's to say I'm, I'm glad I'm glad I'm making sense um so Tiffany uh okay yes Tiffany who I know probably is watching but won't comment because it's a serious one so um again won't go into too much detail Tiffany but um hmm <sighs> no <laughs> no um sometimes we have connections that are quite very karmic basically and sometimes those connections um can be quite toxic and I have got alarm bells and I think you need to trust yourself I also am getting very much that he's not gonna he, he, he can't help himself basically not to defend this person but he can't help himself he does need to get um anger management I think is the word to use it's not even about counselling he needs some sort of discipline in that particular area and I think you understand I think it's really important that you reach out and to um just be safe um and if you want to talk to me in direct messages which I know you're watching so please do all right um but and also just to add to that because you don't about you're moving yes you will move and it will be it's actually coming up as immediate so it's in January um but also probably not best you do it with him if I'm being honest with you but again we can talk about that afterwards as well so um hi Annie can you see any luck coming my way well this is why we talk about manifesting and source and source um energy because absolutely absolutely particularly when you practice um manifesting particularly when you cognitively change your thoughts but even if you don't because obviously none of us all walk around in this bubble of happiness is there going to be some luck coming your way my guy said gee whiz she does <laughs> does deserve some luck coming your way um my gosh why am i getting lots of irish tones with you my dear have you got family connected in ireland or something i'm getting like that my guides are singing and doing little sort of merry sort of jigs that I can only relate to Ireland unless I've got this completely wrong but um they're literally like they like you a lot <laughs> sorry they're like okay okay good that makes sense okay thank you because they're proper dancing around but to Irish music like a lot so they I think there's a way and because they're being so happy about it they really are saying you properly are going to have some really good luck and I think really soon so keep optimistic um my dear but um I get the str I, my guides show me things in the most strangest way and that was uh one of my strange moments of um seeing them um, hi from Dublin great <laughs> they do straight they do show me things in really strange ways um too so um again I'm so sorry that my other feed didn't work again this is my really unhappy face and you know what it's going to be on my phone until I can sort it out um, but I, what I will do to compensate is I will do um, some more um, pre-records pre that people if they want to sort of access and look because uh, I can do this live on Facebook but I can't do this live on YouTube so I have to do it twice unfortunately so um, I do hope that sort of helped you today um, understand really rapidly what I mean by source information um, source energy <laughs> even um, I have um, some downloads um, on my site about some previous um, simple sort of manifesting techniques but I, I will be having um, a more detailed one for those who really want to practice I have my daily gratitude also on this feed which some of you probably see and think what's that all about 
basically the more grateful we are the universe says wow they want more things to be grateful for and then send it your way and so in a way you're you know you're cognitively drawing joy and abundance to you just by being grateful every day for you know the oven working so whatever it is so do join in with that as well because it will help with the momentum of bringing luck and joy and abundance um do join the community um again um I, I, I'm a firm believer that everybody can do what I do. We all have primary extrasensory abilities. And as a result of that, um, some of us are attuned more than others. Um, again, I, will, I am actually working on some, some, some things as well to help with those who want to explore that more so that you can do this stuff for yourself and don't necessarily need me. Um, so again, thank you so very much for joining me. Hi, Rachel. Um, very last minute, I'm now going to be gone until the next side time and um, thank you so very much for joining me here today I really appreciate it as well take care and um, have a really great evening or afternoon wherever you are in the world take care bye